do you know? Wait, that was no accident. The room. I was drugged with sleeping pills. <laughs> <laughs> I was murdered by that person. Person. Oh, what's happening? Murder. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Looks like popcorn. Oh. She lost a foot. That's why <laughs> I took my revenge. It's only fair, isn't it? In it? Any? In it? It's in it. It's only fair, in it. Uh, what's the matter? <clears throat> I finally get to see you again, and it's not your fault. You didn't do it. No, I. I did it. I killed that person. That wasn't you! It was your evil twin! It doesn't matter! As might as well have been me! <laughs> I'm gonna cry. <laughs> How many times is she gonna get thrown in jail? <laughs> All the times. I can't believe something happened like this. The events of that gloomy, rainy afternoon that started this whole mess. Keep playing through my mind. Then in walked abroad. She had the killer hips. It, it's fucking June sixteenth, three thirty four p.m. in the low off uh, the low office. Office. Loss. La 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 land. Oh, I'm a nerd. Ugh, what depressing rain. Do you understand how depressed that makes me? Do He's you? So Asian. I'm so Asian. Uh, I guess. <laughs> but actually, more than being depressed, I'm angry. Angry at that weather girl on TV. I think our little rainy spell will take a break with a day of sun. Is what that girl said. I stake my life on it. Well, it's the weather. But that's why I didn't bother to bring an umbrella today. What nerve, calling herself a weather girl. She's going to hear about my 1500 suits, okay? Um, about your case. Unless you're planning on suing the weather girl. I'm sorry. I thought that before we got down to business, we could have some friendly chatter. My name, of course he is, Dr. Turner Gray. I'm a surgeon. Course. With these hands. Remind me never to end up under his knife. I have a knife. I'm gray. I'm here today because of this incident. Now practice at Gray Surgical Clinic. 14, in, 14 inpatients lose their lives. She's screaming in the middle. She having a moment. Oh, you're the doctor, Ed. It's really quite upsetting. Did you hear me? Upsetting! <laughs> yes, yes, I heard you. I, I agree. It's quite upsetting, Dr. Gray. <gasps> the one that screwed up was that nurse. It was her that got them... Medic? Yeah, medications. medications mixed up and killed these 14 patients. And yet, now listen, good. And yet... <laughs> that nurse had the nerve to go and die before admitting to her wrongdoing? Uh, she didn't even offer any sort of explanation to me. This is the trick cricker. It's also like tricker. <laughs> she often has herself a grand old accident and crashes her car. Smash crunch, instantly transforming her car into the accordion model. Okay. Cool. It reminds me of that case closed episode. Mmm. Where her boyfriend got killed by, um,. Some crazy drivers, and yeah, then she was like, You burned my boyfriend alive, and now I'm gonna set you on fire. Yeah, okay. I don't know if you remember that episode or not. Yeah, no, there's so much, <laughs> they all kind of blur. Yeah, <laughs> <clears throat> that's right. About a year ago, all the tabloid shows were talking about it 14 victims of medical malpractice and the nurse's mysterious fatal accident. There were rumors that Dr. Gray had actually caused that crash. People said it was. Uh, this, people said it was to forever hide the person responsible for the malpractice incident. 
Why would I? Now I'm going to say this once. Why on earth would I want to kill that nurse? She's the one who killed these 14 patients, not me. I think you need to take a deep breath, Doctor, and focus. More to the point, this case is over a year old. Why bring it up now? Uh, that's simple, because the situation is slipping out of my grasp. This just won't do. My clinic isn't seeing nearly as many patients nowadays. Do you understand what that means? It means they're not coming to my clinic. You don't say. If it were me, I don't think I'd want to go either. So, what would you like me to do about it? I want you to help me prove I'm innocent. Um, God. You do realize I'm a lawyer, not a private investigator, right? Bitch, we're pretty much a fucking uh, private investigator. I know. No. This is oh, this is something only you can do. I choose you. May fate. Maya, you know, not May. Maya, I know. Maya, <laughs> fate. I just sometimes don't say the other A, so yeah. Mm -hmm. Anyways, you know this girl, correct? <gasps> Maya, why would he know her name? Because I'm gay. I mean, I heard you were working under her for a while, okay? Had to take a drink. Well, yes, I mean, hey, wait a second here. I worked under her. Yes, am I wrong? She told me. So I'm not quite sure if... If. Well, we worked in a few trials together. But she went back to her hometown to undergo more training. Ah, yes, I heard. Must have been only for you. What? Concerned? Oh, wait, I'm not. She must be an extraordinary girl to handle such a ri rigid training. Huh? I have a acquaintance who knows a lot about these m mystical sorts of things. She's the one who, who introduced me to Miss Faye. She did. Is Maya really that famous? And I've I already mean... set up an appointment. For what? What else? A challenge. A chan. A channeling. <laughs> channeling. I'm going to have her call the spear of that nurse that went and got herself killed. Oh. Oh. My. I understand. I wonder what she's up to right now. <laughs> we, we, me, the one of the faith clan have always been spirit mediums. It's because the power to communicate with spirits flows strongly through us. Strongly. That's what she told me. I guess she's learned to accept her responsibilities and become an adult. Hmm. Not counting training, this will be her first time challenge. Cha she's gonna challenge them! She, she <laughs> Channeling challenge the spirits. Spirit. So she gave me one condition before accepting my request. A condition? Er. And shampoo. Mm. The condition is you, Mr. Wright. She said that she won't put it do the challenging without her, her, her without see, first seeing you again. Me? Eh. This is why I've searched for you out. I was concerned. You want to see her too, don't you? No. He looks like he's like from Pokemon or something. Pokemon, but also Fruits Basket. Mm hmm. And so, that is how I ended up in Maya's hometown with the doctor and cats running all around my room. <laughs> oh, hey, it's June night. You're hissing under my bed. 1.25 p.m. Leave your sister alone. Kure- is it Kure? Kure Village. Village? Yeah, okay. So this is Kure- oh god, the birds are back. I know. So this is Kure Village, Maya's hometown. Oh, hey, it's a little girl. Why, hello there. I stare at you. <laughs> um, what an odd little girl. Uh, I think it's... Wait up, Pearly. Hmm? Someone else is coming this way. Oh, Nick! Yeah, I thought it was her, but yeah. I wasn't sure. Maya, how are you? It's good to see you again. Wow! I didn't think you'd really show up! It's not that big a deal. You made it sound like you were so far away. Well, maybe I exaggerated just a little. There's 
only two hours by train. If I had known you were this close, I'd have visited more. No! You're not allowed! I already decided, you know! Until I became an adult, I had to work hard and be strong by myself. Oh, well. Anyway, congrats. Um, I'm glad to hear training is going well. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like you finally become a full-fledged medium, taking on your first job. Yeah. I didn't think it would be this soon. But this case, do you know this messy story behind it? <laughs> Behold the power of my <laughs> tangents at work! <laughs> <laughs> Let's see! Fourteen people died because of a male practice on Dr. Gray's part, right? And to pin that blame on the nurse? He killed her in what appeared to be a car accident! Huh? Um, so what is this Maya Intelligence Network, anyway? The tabloids! <laughs> That's what I thought. <laughs> I'm just pulling your leg, Nick. What really happened is the uh, exact opposite. I heard all about it from Dr. Gray. Oh, come on, Nick. I want to take a craze killer out as a client. That's just scary, even for me. Yeah, I guess so. So, this is your home down, huh, Maya? Yep! Uh, Korean village, and... But I've heard people call this place Medium Valley, too! Interesting, it's not Large Valley. <laughs> so, everyone that lives here is a spirit medium? Pretty much! Most of my ancestors were, too, I think. It's probably true, since the Fae ability to communicate with the dead is so strong. Actually, only the women of this village are mediums. So, what do the men do? They usually work someplace outside the village. <laughs> oh yeah, I wanted to ask you about that girl I saw earlier. Do you know her? Oh! You mean Pearly? Pearly? Yeah, Pearl Faye. She's my cousin. Isn't she adorable? Just like yours truly! Cousin. Meow. Wait. Then that means she is a... Uh... Yep, she's a medium too. Pearly's real genius when it comes to challenge challenging. Challenge. Hmm, see. I hope I didn't scare her when I tried to talk to her earlier. Yeah, it's not you. My aunt drilled it into her head that if a suspicious looking person tries to talk to you, run away! <laughs> suspicious looking? Well, you're not wearing training clothes for starters. Of course not. Pearly is my aunt's most valued treasure, so she's not allowed to go outside of town. She just doesn't know much about the world outside of Korean Village. Aunt? Pearly's mother is my aunt. Duh. Come on, Nick. <laughs> well, Nick, I've got to get going. It's the time for the challenging to start. The challenging. Challenging. <laughs> yes. Oh, oh yeah. It's challenge. God, fuck this word. I'm doing challenging in my house. Go, so come on, it's okay! After I'm done, we can grill up some juicy burgers! Ooh. <laughs> Alright, good luck, Maya. Thanks! Gotta be extra chipper. <laughs> well, at least she's still the same perky Maya. Mm hmm. Giant rock that seems to be reaching for the sky. Its origins are written on a beat up old sign. Looks like this giant rock is called the Korean Boulder. There's a really complex explanation here, but long story short, it's a big stone for spirits to live in, or something like that. You hate the birds. the birds. An old bus stop. It says Korean Village on the signpost. The buses seem incredibly inconvenient since they only come. God, it sounds like the fucking day. bus. Fern. It's an old style phone booth. I can't say it fits in well with this area. My cell phone doesn't get reception here, so I, uh, who knows? I may need it later. Yep. Rustic, thatch roofed houses where the other villagers live lie in the street. They're nowhere near as large as, or nice as the manor in front of me. It's kind of odd that I don't see any other villagers walking around, though. The biggest, most elegant of the buildings I can see from here. This is Fay Manor, the place Maya calls home. It's easy to be overwhelmed by its presence. Is that all? Mm. 
trees. <laughs> okay. Well, it's still June 9th. Teenth. Teenth. <laughs> I know, I like <laughs> choked on my oh, spit. Jesus. Uh, it's Mr. Right. I'm so glad you showed up, my man. Some nice weather we're here having, having today. You, yep, aren't you happy? <laughs> <laughs> no, not at all. That stupid weather girl made the wrong call again. It'll rain cats and dogs today, she said, with a straight face. I can't believe they allow such misguided reports on the public oh, airwaves. Looks like we're talking. Looks like talking about the weather with this guy is just asking for punishment. Yeah. But anyway, this is a splendid mender. Manor. Mander. <laughs> mender. <laughs> no, <laughs> even there. It's hard to believe that this is Maya's house, though. Mm. I was given a guide map to this building. Here, Mr. Wright, I have a copy for you, too. God, just be so direct. <laughs> what are you gonna do? Once the nurse's <laughs> spirit has been called. Isn't it obvious? I'm going to just have her write a signed confession. Signed confession? Yes, a confession. Pay attention, I, I'll have her write this. <laughs> One year ago, on second, on May 2nd, 14 patients died due to my negligence. And then, on May 25th, 4th, 25th I fell asleep <laughs> at a slight wheel and died in a car accident due to my feet. My further indulgence. Jesus. It was also a feature. I'm sorry and I apologize for being neglected. That's what I'll have her write. With a confession, the rain falling on my soul can finally stop. Oh, I see. So, how did you hear about Maya? I heard about her from an acquaintance. A girl studying the occult at the college. Oh, was it that girl introduced me to the village? This is the home of the uh, Karen School of cha Challenge. Channeling. Channeling, Jesus. <laughs> the home, huh? Uh, Miss May. Maya Faye. Maya is daughter of the master, and I hear. Master. Anyway, do you see the door? That's the room where people and spirits meet. Smile's aunt is in there right now. Would you care to meet her? Not really. Want to see my badge? Want to see my badge? <laughs> Look, here's my attorney's badge. Are you trying to compete with me in my profession with that piece of scrap? Huh? I'm a surgeon. Compared to you, lawyers are practically a saint. Yeah, well, I don't exactly have any patience right now. But, uh, listen good, I'm not the one that made the mistake. This doctor needs his head examined. <laughs> yeah, he needs a doctor. Uh, I guess we'll go to the channeling chamber. Channeling. God, it reminds me of Fatal Frame now all of a sudden. It does. He's your fee manner. <laughs> For fucking... Wow, it's There's a strange dolls, atmosphere at in here. There's no dolls yet. These flickering lights. I almost said fuckering lights. Mm. I guess they're candles. Oh! Jesus. <sighs> Hold on. Do you want me I'm to be here? Take... I mean, me? I... Th you might want to be Pearl, right? I could be Pearl. Yeah, so let me... <clears throat> You gotta get a, a mature <laughs> woman's voice. <clears throat> uh, good sir, who might you be? Uh, I am. My name is Phoenix Wright. Oh, you must be that good sir. Good sir, mm. talk about me. You are a lawyer, are you not, good sir? I have heard much about you from Mystic May, uh, Maya. Maya. <laughs> is that so, <laughs> Mystic Maya? Uh, I am. <laughs> I am. Oh, okay, hold on. I got it. <clears throat> I am Mrs. Maya's aunt. Maya's aunt. Morgan Fay. Nice to meet you. Uh, I. 
had uh, wanted to speak with you about a certain incident, good sir. It would seem that perhaps you asked too much of Mystic Maya in performing your duties. Most of... I'm confounding my... I'm afraid. I'm afraid. Huh? I don't trust her. Don't, I know, I don't touch either. Don't tell me you have already forgotten. That was... That was it. Not for Mystic Maya and her assistant. You would surely not have won. First a girl that runs away, and now an old lady who says I stink at my job. When did I become the poser bo poster boy for how to not make a first impression? <clears throat> the past is the past, though. Let us speak of the past now. Present. No yeah. past. No past. <laughs> uh, thank you. Mm. So why did you add Mystic Maya, Mystic to Maya's name? Isn't that a little strange? Good sir. Uh, <clears throat> yes. How dare you be so rude and disrespectful towards Mystic Maya? Okay. I am sorry. She must be addressed by her proper title. Good sir, you must call her Mystic Maya. Okay, so about Mystic Maya. Uh, it is the blood. Excuse me, blood? Mystic Maya carries the blood of the master. Is actually she is the only one remaining. Only one remaining. What's that supposed to mean? Mystic Maya is the last of the rightful heirs of the Huron cha Challenging Channeling. Technique. Challenging. Okay, then oh. where do you stand? That's a little more. That's a little more complicated. Although women of the Fae Clan, I am merely a member of the Branch family. Branch family? Right. What's that? It is, as it sounds, more a member of the Branch family, no matter her spiritual power. She can never become the master of the Korean school. So how strong are you? It is a shame, however, I will admit. I cannot even begin to compare the loneliness of my power to the master's. So that's how it is. So today's channeling will be her first. Yes, good sir. Because the spirit of uh, of, of a person who dies is a traf in a traffic accident is usually very strong. It's usually easier to call that person to our world. Traffic accident, indeed. Channeling will take place in this challenge. Mean. It's a challenging taper. <laughs> Might as well be. It's a challenge. Uh, as you can see, I am in the process of process of preparing. Same. I feel like I'm just teaching you to read at this point. <laughs> So, this room is the challenging chamber. <laughs> <laughs> the place where a spirit medium speaks with these who have departed. I don't suppose you'd mind if we observed the session. Hmm. Not, do not even think of such nonsense. Only the medium and the client may enter here. Oh. The secrets of the Korean techniques cannot be seen by just any anybody. That never stopped Maya from doing it in front of me before. <clears throat> it is also for your safety, good sir, if something were to go wrong. This is why <laughs> challenging the challenge is being performed. That heavy door is secretly locked. It's secretly locked. Secret <laughs> yes. <laughs> Not securely. <laughs> it's secretly. Oh, that's what the lock is for. <laughs> Hmm, yes. I wonder if you have yet to meet Pearl, good sir. Pearl? She is an adorable, angelic young girl. Little doll. Oh, that odd. She is my daughter. Now, then what was it you were about to say? What a cute little girl you have. Hmm, a pure heart that knows not how the evils in this world is a powerful thing, good sir. Please refrain from affiliating. Affiliating with her, I request. Well, it's not like I had the chance anyway. 
I must insist just that you do not let it occur. Okay, okay, I get it. That was weird, but it like he slapped. Oh my god. <laughs> this folding screen is really showing its age. All of its edges are a bit tattered. The lettering is faded too. I think I recognize a few of the characters on here. Koo Rain. I'm pretty sure that's what it says. Maybe I'll ask my about it later. This is where the medium sits, I assume. There are four panels of the flooring. Straw on the floor it feels a little damp, probably from the humidity in the air. Was that all? You want to see my badge? <laughs> Good sir. Yeah. We would like to begin the channel channeling yep. at three o'clock. If you don't mind, good sir, would you mind allowing me to make a proper pepsi? Sure, go ahead. She's a fail, right? Just as loud as the rest. He. Mm. <laughs> It's still June. <laughs> wow, this garden is really breathtaking. Someone put me out of my misery. I mean, someone put a lot of love into it. <laughs> <laughs> what is that over there? Is that an incinerator? It looks a little out of yeah. place in a garden like this. It's probably to incinerate the bodies. Also... That vase is also broken. Yes! That's what I was going to say. Yeah, it's a small incinerator. I don't think garbage trucks come all the way out here to tiny villages like this. So every family has to burn their own trash and bodies. A Same. splendid garden with a small lamp and traditional decorations. It's a bit small to walk around town. Yeah, I mean, and not town. Although that incinerator piques my curiosity. <laughs> Whose dead body is yeah. in there? <laughs> Looks like there's a room over there. Peaceful mm. feeling is emanating from it to me, me, me. It's a really old urn. The ashes of a person long dead are inside. Looks like something with a long history. Other than that, it's not very nice. I mean, interesting. So, time to move on. It's very cracked, though. I'm concerned. Mm -hmm. Uh, anything else? Okay. Side room. Oh, those things. Nap time. Naps. So this is the side room. Looks like it's more of a break room. There's bedding spread out on the floor. It looks like someone's sleeping in one. I shouldn't disturb them. You want to see my badge? <laughs> Just whisper in their ear. There's bedding spread out on the floor. Is that someone sleeping over there? She probably is an exhausted medium taking a break and catching some Z's. If I wake her up, she might be grumpy and throw a spell on me. It's probably good at rude. It's a rude idea to not disturb her sleep. Unless it's a dead body. It's a decorative wooden bear sculpture. There's a plate attached to the base. Karain Village, the heart of channeling. What the? It's a souvenir? Does this mean it's easy to spot bears here and for them to spot you? Mmm. The small alcove. I have no idea what it's supposed to mean or symbolize. If I had one of these in the office, it would end up as a storage space. But here, it's decorated with some pretty flowers and a beautiful hanging scroll. This is the first time I've seen a sliding door like this in person. From here, I can see the wi winding way and the little garden in the courtyard. Ichigo. Okay. No. Oh. Uh. Mm. uh I think that might oh, be Pearl. Oh. oh. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, if it's not, if it's someone else, uh, you can take over. Yeah, this girl's got. Yeah. Hey, you! Hold on now. This girl's got a few questions to ask. Huh? I'm sure I've heard that southern accent tomorrow. Oh, oh no, it's her. Oh. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. Who who would be in a college? I oh my god. Yeah. Oh well, I'll be. It's Mr. Phoenix Wright. How you been? Haven't you seen you in what a year? Um, you are uh. <laughs> a lot of hair. <laughs> uh, that joke. A lot of hair. A um, lot of hair, was it? <laughs> a lot of who? Wait, you best not be making fun of my hair now. Uh, no, um, I wasn't making fun. I was complimenting you on your fine hair. I dare say, you're one heartless man, Mr. Wright. 
It was because of my testimony that your friend got out of being guilty. Looks like you already forgot that. Hold up. You were working with the prosecution at first as one of their witnesses, and came after us if we were a piece of sirloin steak. Mmm, steak. <laughs> Minor details. Stop being so tight, letting little things get in the way. The name's hot. A lot of hot. Don't you go forgetting it. Oh yeah, that's it. Now listen here. I'm here to take some pictures today. I'm gonna get myself a real scoop. Oh, so I guess you're still at it. Being a photographer, I mean. You betcha, the hardest working one out there, I reckon. Didn't I say I was gonna make a name for myself as a famous paranormal photographer? Oh, that's right. This ain't no time to be wasting time. The channel is about to get started. I got a trophy, by the way. Is it that time already? We trophy should all time. hurry up and get to the meditation room. What are you waiting around for? Come on. Got a heart, huh? I've been judging her harshly because of that case. But I guess looking back, she is really a bitch. We had some good times too, though. It's moon the 19th. The mm -hmm. 9th. Moon 19th. Mm-hmm. Oh, God. I'm here again. Uh, well, we'll now begin the challenging challenge. Mystic Maya, Maya, an honored guest. Please proceed into the challenging challenge. Yeah. Uh, with this, I can finally sweat. Swat. Swat. All these chisky flails. Once and for all. You hear me? They won't be able to say a single bad thing about me after this. You should- you would love to hear that. But I'm apologize, wouldn't you, wouldn't you, Mr. Wright? Me? Oh, yeah, sure, I, I would, totally. Yep. <sighs> Mr. Kuma, <laughs> do you have the ch challenging challenge? Yep, right here! That is most satisfactory. The key is one of a kind, so please take care of it well. If uh, if you find Aunt Morgan, I won't lose it. Trust me. Okay, Doctor Gray, let's get started. Finally, let's go. Like, oh my God. Click. Mm, this is some good tea. Now, le <laughs> let us wait patiently out here for them. Please have some lovely bitter green tea. Job, job. John dropping large strawberry desserts. Birds. Hold on now, Granny. Granny? How come we ain't allowed in the room? Dear Madam, you have an impressive grasp of English. From where did you learn it? What? I'm from the heart of the heartland? Is that so? Then I humbly request that you return to that this heart of the heartland. What? What do you... you this is Kieran Village. If you cannot follow our traditions and rules, we request that you leave. <laughs> Sorry. Wow, she shut up Lotta. Now that's impressive. Mm hmm. Now then, let us wait. Let us be lettuce. Mm, lettuce. Mm hmm. Bang. Maya did it. <laughs> <laughs> Hey now, what was that just now? Came from inside the channeling chamber. Maya did it. Hey, that's a gunshot. Excuse me. I've heard that sound before. It's a gunshot. I bet my afro on it. Maya, Maya's in there. I'm gonna break into the chamber. Well, Mr. Loy, what's the plan? What else? We're going to break in. What? But. There's only one key, and that's kids got it. We're going to go. We're going to have to break the door. Is that all right, Miss Faye? Well, yes, but there's one matter that is. Don't try to stop me. You can spend the repair bill to the Wright and Co. offices. Yeah, now that's what I call being a man. Slam, 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 crash. Oh, yep. Dr. Gray. <laughs> <laughs> she took a picture. 
I... 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 I was weird. Uh, she got boobs. Uh, yeah. Maya? Th that man murdered me. So I killed... him. What? Lotta, at a time like this, times like this are perfect for snapping up shots. But anyway, what's going on here? This gal, is she Maya? S uh, step away from here. Please leave this area to me. Go quickly and inform the police. But, but... Hurry, and before there are more victims here. Hey, let's go see, boy. Leave this to Granny. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, it's still June 9th. Teeth. <laughs> My cell phone doesn't get reception way out here. So I ended up using the phone booth to call the police. And? They're on their way. That's good, Lottie. I saw a genuine mysterious phenomenon. She was really on edge because of all this. Not that I blame her. I'm scared to death by what's going on. Hey, mister. That gal, Maya, she wasn't the one that pulled the trigger, was she? Oh, yeah. Lotta doesn't know when that Maya was channeling her whole physical appearance changes. Then again, weren't there only two of them in there? I reckon she must have done it then. Where'd she get the gun then? Dr. Gray had it? I wonder. Lotta, what do you know about Dr. Gray? Not much, but I did some digging. There's one... That's one gen with a bad reputation. Really? I hear he's good at surgery and stuff, but his personality stinks with, like a wet sheep. I sort of got the same impression myself. He's real controlling. As soon as his nurses or patients don't do what he says, he starts to holler and... It must have been a real rough for him to work for him. Yeah. No, you don't get to see my badge. <laughs> it's nice. Meditation womb. Uh, Mr. Wright. Miss Faye, how is um Mystic Maya? She has returned to this world. The spirit serving, te yeah, serving technique was successful. Let me see her. Uh, hold on. She's still unconscious, and I humbly request that you wait aside for her recovery. Guess I just have to wait. <sighs> hey. Nah. <laughs> Please hear her. <laughs> Sorry, you waited. <laughs> you again? What are you doing all the way out here, Detective Gumshoe? <laughs> Sorry, it's kind of funny. If I was in the area for a visit trip, pal. Well, time to check out the crime scene. <laughs> I have to question everyone that here later on. So just sit here tight, right? Why is he grinning at me? Shall I show you to the scene of the crime, Detective Gumshoe? Uh, my name isn't. Gr oh, he called me Jim Shoe. Called Jim Shoe. Oh, Jim Shu! Okay! My name is Jim Shu. Jim, not Gim. Gim. I'm a Gim. <laughs> Jim. He's I'm a Gim, Gim now. <laughs> the two of them went to the channeling chamber. Guess all we can do now uh, is see and wait and everyone else and shit. Oh, my god. Itchies. There's blood. Blood. Not funny. The police are busily running here and there. And I don't see Maya anywhere. Uh, hey, don't touch that. Anything. Look, I really need to ask you some questions. Uh, don't look at me like that. It's a sort of an caring jerk. Tell you what, pal. I'll tell that you ask me a few questions, alright? Um, about Maya. I hate to bring this to you, but, pal, but... With the way things look now, that girl's the only one who could have done it. 
Yeah, only Maya and the victim were inside this room after all. But Maya is... You can ask some more about her later, pal. Right now, I've got a job to do, and that's collecting evidence. Detective Gumshoe looks like a real professional. And yet, something about his expression still looks the same. So, Dr. Gray was shot with a gun, huh? <laughs> he was shot in the forehead. But... 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 He was also stabbed in the chest with a knife! I'm concerned. A butt knife? Basically, the Vic was first stabbed, then he was shot, and then he stabbed, and then he shot again. And then he was kicked maybe once. <laughs> oh, God. Hmm. Is there any secrets in that room? I wonder. I feel like there might be. <clears throat> it's only partial guide map, though. Oh yeah, it does that say that too, cause hmm, secrets. Blip. Oh, can oh, you I, slide? I, oh I yeah. Can. Oh, I was pressing the wrong buttons though. Anything else? There has to be something behind here. Yeah, cause there's like cupboards and yeah, and knowing places, like old Japanese places, they always want things to be connected. Exactly. Like, Fatal Frame, everything is yeah. connected. Yeah. And like that side room, yeah, it's... Yeah. Side room. Pretty sure there was someone sleeping here earlier. Is maybe is that the little girl? Uh, like, how can I help you? Oh! Oh, oh I mean... You can be her. <laughs> <coughs> Okay. Um, oh. that is, I, uh... Um, like, so is it about time to start? Huh? Time to start what? Like, you know, like, the challenging... Challenge? Challenge. Ch the challenging? <laughs> oh, no, actually, the situation has kind of changed. Uh, like, uh, what do you mean? Please cal stay calm, but there has been a murder. I don't trust her. Uh, so, like, uh, murder is that, like, where, uh, like, oh, one person got a kills, like, another one, right? Yeah, a person has killed another person. Oh, that's, uh, what, what are the words I'm looking for? It's like, like, totally a bummer. Yeah, after all that effort, that's <clears throat> all she had to say. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot to, like, introduce myself. My name is, oh. In eeny miny. E eeny miny. Mo. Tiger by a toe. Yeah. Um, at the college, I'm like researching and like studying par pa par parapsychology. Parapsychology. Mm. Parapsychology. That's right. Um, I think people like uh, usually call it occult studies or something. Like supernatural phenomenon. EXP and like, yeah, psych pa psychic powers. Psychic powers. Psychic powers, that sort of stuff. It's pretty out uh, there. I'm Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney at Law. God, she moves. <laughs> she does. She like dancing. Mm -hmm. So, what brings you here today? Um, like, I was the one who told Dr. Gray about this place. Hmm, suspicious. He asked me, like, do you know of a good spirit medium? Uh, Dr. Gray did say something about being introduced to this place. Cause, like, talking to dead people and, like, multiple personalities are, like, my thing. I see. Then why were you taking a nap here? Like, I wasn't feeling good. Mmm. Uh. I'm, like, allergic to sesame seeds. They, like, must have put some in the food they served for lunch. <clears throat> oh, that doesn't sound fun. So, I, like, felt sick and came in here to, like, sleep. And I totally, like, feel like I've wasted time because, like, slept a long time. So you were sleeping here the entire time? 
Yeah, ever since lunch. <sighs> so you know, you don't know anything about the murder that took place? Like what? Oh, uh, that? I like totally know nothing. <clears throat> so it was like, you know, killed? The surgeon that requested the channeling of Dr. Gray. Uh, you and Dr. Gray knew each other, right? Mm, uh. I don't know any Dr. Gray. Oh, really? Then what was all that talk about him earlier? Uh, well, uh, like, a long time ago, long time ago, I was like, a patient, yeah. She sounds like she's trying to hide something. <sighs> yeah, she's playing, she's playing dumb. <clears throat> you left the blanket a mess, are you going to fold it? Uh, like, I had a really good nap and like, I was thinking of leaving it like this, so like, it's all set for tonight. Okay. Okay. Is that all? No, yeah, there's no- <laughs> you want to see my Like, I'm really sorry, but I'm not all that smart. So I don't, like, get it. Hmm, why does it feel like she's just putting on an act? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Still waiting for the little girl to show up mm -hmm. eventually. There's no one around here as usual. Oh, oh. hey! <laughs> Hey, how are you? You're Pearl, right? Hmm. Silent as ever. What's that she's got in her hand? Seen it somewhere before. Um. Uh. <laughs> what is it? Is it my hair? Is it too spiky? Not spiky enough. <laughs> <laughs> Not spiky enough. <laughs> uh, was I supposed to do something? Well, did you get this? I wonder. Oh, oh, she's back. Um. What is it? Is it my hair? Okay. Are you supposed to have something for her? <laughs> you wanna see my badge? Um I don't I don't know what you're supposed to do. So concerned! Like... <clears throat> excuse me? <laughs> She's too scared of you! <laughs> yeah, are we supposed to get, like, I something? I wonder, um... I have an idea. Mm hmm. Some old bitch. <laughs> what would a silent little girl that's scared of everyone? <laughs> God, her mom is. I don't. I am 
so concerned. Now I gotta look up what to do. Yeah, like, are we missing a key information that we don't have yet? Or is... Okay, yeah. there we go. Okay. I was wondering if I wasn't you had to finding go back it, so here. I was thinking. Yeah. She's probably scared out of her wits after having a murder take place right by her. Lotta? <clears throat> God, don't let me be next! Uh, don't scare me like that! What do you mean? You're the one who scared me. If I weren't so tough, you'd have another dead body on your hands. Mine! Did you see or notice anything that stuck out at you? No, well, maybe one thing. What is it? Turns out my poor stomach's not good at handling this kind of thing. Huh, what? Curses and ghosts and stuff come back to get you. This is too much, I say. What is it too much? Being a cult photographer. That's some scary stuff, so I think I'm gonna cr try, not cry, being a celebrity photographer. Going after photos more within your reach from now on. More glam or less gore. What's up? Oh yeah. What is it? I took some hot pictures earlier. Huh? Remember, I took some pictures at the murder scene inside. She did too, even. The seance murder. I sure like the ring of that. That'll be a sensational story. Lotta. Sorry, but my journalistic sense is burned inside me. I hate to cut and run, but I'm heading back in. Gotta beat those cops to the scoop of the century. Wow. <laughs> well, there she goes. Oh, and then Luna sneezed. I don't know who's scarier, Lotto or the spirits. And why does mm -hmm. it feel like we've been through this before? Mm-hmm. At okay. least it has, you know, that where you know you're going the right direction. Yeah. Oh, dear. Uh... Madam. Dear madam, you have such... Oh, impeccable timing. Okay. Oh, like, what's all the buzz? Uh, <clears throat> Alright, everyone. Listen up, you too, pal. I'm going to give you all the brief of date. Right now, it looks like the investigation's not going to be done until real late because I'm pulsating. Uh, that is a terrible shame. I propose that everyone sleep here under the roof of the Fay Manor tonight. That's... suspicious. What a mess. I can't believe how crazy this day turned out. Maya was arrested and taken away by the police. And I don't see myself getting any sleep tonight. Ow, my shoulder. <laughs> Ow, your shoulder. Hey, hey. it's 20th now. It's but it's 8 a.m. <laughs> Ugh, waiting. Guess I must have gone enough at some point. I hope Maya's okay. I should hurry and get to the detention center ASAP. Yeah. Hey. Took me two it's hours. It's now ten. <laughs> Took me two hours. <laughs> Nick, Nick, Nick. I. Maya. I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't imagine. Ah, uh, that's on my accent. Uh, it already turned out like this. Calm down, Maya. Um, Take deep breaths. No. <laughs> <laughs> Come to think of it, the first time I met her, it all started right here in the detention center. And she cried. Finally. Finally get to see you again, and... It's not your fault. You didn't do it. No, I, I did it. I killed that person. But that wasn't you. It doesn't matter. It might as well have been me. I was too weak, and I, I couldn't control the spirit's power, so... I don't want to bring up the case quite yet, but... You don't have to be nice to me. I understand. Oh. Sad music. music. So you're the master, or 
something of the Korean school of channeling. Actually, my mother is for now. Since the title is passed from mother to daughter, I guess I'll be good someday. But many people think that channeling isn't real, that it's all just an act. You believe in this, don't you? Yeah, because I've seen it with my own eyes. Maya's channeling a spirit. Not only her voice, but her whole physical appearance changes. It's a supernatural phenomenon that occurs every time. It happened this time, too. Dr. Gray said that he wanted to call the nurse, so... Maya's body must have taken on that nurse's appearance. What exactly happened in the channeling chamber? Challenging things? Mm. I went into the room with Dr. Gray, locked the door, and sat down across from him. And we put our fingers like this. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we closed our eyes and we begin to the challenging challenge. This is sounding kind of creepy and challenging, like the beginning of a scary story. And that's the last thing I remember. What? After a spirit comes into my body, I lose myself, my consciousness. Then you don't remember a single thing. <laughs> when I come to, I was beginning, I was being held by my hands. There was blood. I had more than one hand all over me. Hmm. Oh, but I do remember having a dream. A dream? A dream. What kind of dream did you have while you were channeling challenging? <laughs> um, I can't remember it all that well, but I was dead and buried in the ground. I couldn't move and it was unbearable, really suffocating. It went something like that. I see. I have no idea what to say to that. There was a really familiar smell too. Under the ground? Yeah. I can't quite place it, but I know I've smelled that same scent before. I guess this is all about the information I'm going to get for the day. I'll be back later, Maya. In the meantime, please make sure you prepare, okay? Huh? It was it. it the document requests me... The document requesting me to be your attorney, of course. Huh? But... What's wrong? Are you sure? I mean, I'm guilty. I'm a murderer. No one's decided that yet. But I did. I killed that person with these two hands. <laughs> That's enough, Maya. You have a third hand. <laughs> it's helpless. If you defend me, you'll lose. I'm sure. Stop it. <gasps> you raised your voice. Help me. Nick, help me. I'm scared. Don't worry, I will. When is the trial? It sounds like tomorrow. As usual, zero prep time. Alright, yep. I'm going now. Wait! Hmm? This jewel, don't go alone, take this. This is called a magnum. Mag Magtama! God! <laughs> it's a magical charm, and it's always protected me. Give this to Pearly. And I'm sure you'll shield lady her spiritual powers. Magatama. That's what that's what thought that she gave something. Sweet. Okay. <sighs> to the village. It's good. It's June twentieth. Ooh. I have to save Maya, no matter what. It's her life on the line. What in the world happened in that room yesterday? <clears throat> the meditation room nurtures all mediums, young and old. Even mediums and training at wager, but it's pretty deserted today. Probably because of the murder yesterday. The murder. Okay, little girl. Can you talk to you? Little Pearl isn't here today. Oh, maybe Fuck. she's at school? Oh, oh my god. Okay. Oh god. Oh, hey, like, you're that guy from yesterday, the, uh, dentist guy? No, I'm a lawyer. Oh, that's right. Uh, you're Smith. Esquire. Esquire, Jesus. <clears throat> That's right. Wait, I mean, you're <sighs> wrong. My name is Wright. The uh, Smith Wright? Well, I got like three letters at least. I don't think she gets the point. 
Anyway, why are you here? So, like, I study this thing called... <sighs> Fucking words are hard to Parapsychology. remember. Parapsychology. Parapsychology at this college in... You told me all that yesterday. The sesame allergy, too. What I'd really like to know is why you're still here today. Oh, so, like, that's what you meant. Like, you should... Should have been more, like, clear about it. Sorry, my bad. <clears throat> no, it's okay. Like, it's really... That's it? Why'd you stop mid-sentence? Did I... So, like, what was I talking about again? If Watt ever wanted another genuine person... F <laughs> genuine mysterious phenomenon, it's right here. She's the person. <laughs> So, why are you still here today? Like, there's so much more to me, like, study here. Like what? Like, the medium's training, or like, how they inherit their spiritual power. I suppose Reminds. it's a religious real thing, after all. <laughs> so, like, I'm asked if I could stay here for, like, a little longer. She sure seems <clears throat> like the carefree type, at least, on the surface. I wish to start reading in my head for a second. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Have you heard about the murder? It's like totally scary. He says with a silly smile plaster on her face. <laughs> so do you know anything about it that might help? Mm -hmm. Somehow I don't think she has a grip on reality, let alone what's going on here. About the victim, Dr. Gray. I don't know who you're talking about. Like Wait, I think you asked him, like, yesterday, too. That's right. The reaction yesterday when I asked was... Weird. You and Dr. Gray knew each other, right? I don't know any Dr. Gray. Oh, really? Then what was all that talk about him earlier? Uh, well, uh... Like, a long, long time ago, I was, like, a patient, yeah. Okay, she is definitely hiding something from me. Like, is there something wrong? Yes. Yeah, right. Your face. <clears throat> Looks like Detective Gumshoe isn't here today. She takes a chance and thoroughly checks this room. If I'm lucky, I might uncover a clue or two. Ah! Bitch. I thought she was gonna be here. Oh, Mr. Wright. Good morning. I'm on my way to meet Miss Mystic Maya. I thought to bring her some items to make her feel more at home. Namely, tea is so bitter you lose your tongue, and jaw dropping large strawberry desserts. Mm. I'm sure Maya will be very grateful. That's Mystic Maya. Go, good sir. Go. <laughs> uh, uh, she's one scary lady. Oh dear. Sweet Mystic Maya. Pearl swept constantly for she, you last she night. Swept. She swept. <laughs> she swept. She wept. <laughs> I was sick of sleep ends. Yeah. Crying. <laughs> I know it's important for me to search the site, but I should ask her some questions too while I have a chance. Mm, I'm gonna ask questions. I'd like to ask you a few questions about that. <clears throat> Do you mean the awful tragedy? <clears throat> the man murdered me. So I killed him. Maya? Step away from here. There. there, there, there. Please leave this area to me. Go quickly inform the police. Actually, now that I think about it, what if somebody uh -huh. was hiding behind the thing and there's not a secret passageway, but somebody was already in the room? Yeah. I mean, obviously, the psychic thing is real already from what we know. Yes. And she, and while she was in her trance, someone shot him behind there. Yeah. And that's why she told everyone to leave the room so the perpetrator could get out. 
Mm-hmm. What happened here in this room after I left? Well, first I struck <laughs> Squire on the head. To make her go unconscious, correct? That is correct. Next, I perform the spirit serving serving technique. Spirit serving technique. The spirit of that nurse was inside of Mystic Maya's body. I used the technique to send the nurse spirit back to other world. I wonder if this kind of testimony is even admissible in a court of law. Mm-hmm. By the way, what is this room exactly? The challenging challenge chamber. <laughs> this room was created for the sole purpose of preventing such a char Charlie as yesterday. What do you mean? Mm. Sometimes when an experienced medium calls an excessive strong spirit, mm. that spirit may become violent and re revolt, as you witnessed yesterday. Revolt? But how? When a spirit enters Zemina's body, she loses her will and her self steps aside to put it away. Another way the spirit is barring the medium's body could serve. But isn't that extremely dangerous? <clears throat> An experienced medium has a little has a problem controlling the spirit. But Maya, I mean Mystic Maya, that was her first channeling. That wasn't what I insisted on locking the door. However, I never thought that would be con calling danger upon the Kyle himself. I am grateful that one of our heirlooms was not damaged in this horrible accident. Is that the key? Uh, and that would be Oh, the folding screen there it it is. Uh, Korean. God, Curie Rain scare, scare, Sacred Writings! <laughs> Along with the Korean Sacred Urn, they are this village's most treasured possessions. If I were ever found out that something had happened to the, either one. Oh, the humanity. Okay. Out of her to be worrying about the folding screen at a time like this. I guess this isn't just some dilapidated old screen after all. Hmm. So how's Pearl today? Mr. Wright. Yeah? In this world, Pearl is my most treasured possession. No, it's not. When compared to even Mystic Maya, Pearl has the spiritual power to become a master. That's very impressive. Until mm, now, the one of the branch family have thought themselves to be inferior. But Pearl is different. Her spiritual strength is so great, it's even greater than some of the main family. Yes. Pearl is a challenging, challengeable <laughs> prodigy and is the pri pri pride of the bridge family. Wow, mm. she's really fired up now. Mm, in any case. Our world is so different from the, from yours. Perhaps it is best for you to quit, to quit good sir. Quit? Quit what? Probing. Mm, yeah, she needs not be there. For you to search yeah. it, I think. I mean, I can go back and try to search. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Or examine. Yeah, is there more? Okay, yeah, you can now. This is where the medium set sits, I assume. There are four panels on the floor. The straw on the floor feels a little damp, probably from the humidity in the air. No matter what I do, my eyes keep getting drawn to the pool of blood in the center here. Oh. Meditation room is on the other side of this very heavy looking door. The lock on it is broken because, well, I broke it. <laughs> Doesn't seem possible, but I managed to break it pretty badly. Yeah! <laughs> and when we want to do something bad enough, people can do the most amazing things. Hmm. Fly to the. whatever. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh. Mm. It's a beautiful and expensive folding screen. It looks almost quite old. There seems to be some sort of sacred text written on it, but I can't read it. This is... it's a hole. Mm -hmm. This could have been made by a bullet. About eight inches off the ground, that looks like a bullet hole. Oh well then, I do believe it is time for me to take my leave. Alright, please tell Maya I said hi. What was that? I mean Mystic Maya. I will tell her. <gasps> was there more to that? <sighs> Mm, to examine. I 
guess this is an altar, whatever it feels very important. Mirror like object, cloudy surface, and some branches scattered. Yep. Yes, they're used during the channeling. Oh. There's some empty space behind the folding screen. The light of the candles can't reach back there, so it's completely dark. I hope no one is hiding back there. Yeah, I feel like somebody was hiding back there and they shot through the thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, no, I didn't want to go back there. God damn it. <laughs> is she here? Hi. She's here. Uh, you surprised me. How are you today? Hmm, I guess she hasn't opened a friendly chat. Huh? She's still holding something in her hand. Looks like the same thing she had yesterday. Oh yeah, Maya said to give us to you. No, oh, yeah. Uh, I'm in trouble now. If Morgan sees us like this, I'll I'll be the next one they're channeling. That's that's Mystic Maya's. Huh? She's actually spoke. Who are you? I'm Phoenix Wright. I, uh, worked with Maya. You worked with Mystic Maya? You're Mr. Nick, right? Huh. Excuse me. I bet I know who she picked Nick from. I know who you are. You're... my phone. <laughs> You're Mystic Maya's special someone. Yeah, I thought so. What? what? <laughs> so then, of course! You're going to help Mystic Maya, aren't you? That's what you're going to do, right? Well, yeah, I will. Oh, wow. It's like a beautiful fairy tale. That earnest look shining in your eyes. It must be true love. Why? Why am I being boiled into a bright red lobster by this little kid? I'm so jealous of Mystic Maya. Oh, what a wonderful friendship. Well, I wait. I, I mean, we aren't things like that. I can tell you're a great person. All right, Mr. Nick. I may be small, but I'm going to help you in any way I can. <clears throat> Pearl, are you friends with Maya? I feel very grateful to be friends with her. She's so great. I want to be like Mystic Maya when I grow up. I really look up to her. Wow, I had no idea Maya was so revered. Usually when people don't use Mystic Maya's title, I get mad. Oh, sorry. But if it's you, Mr. Nick, then it's okay. Because, because you're special to her. Where in the world did she get an idea like that? By the way, this may be rude, but which channel school are you from? Which channel school? Yes, for example, I study at the Korean Technique. I, I get it. No, no, I'm a lawyer. Oh, lawyer. Lawyer? Yep. Is that related to spirit mediums in any way? Um, not that I know of. Wait, are you telling me you don't know what a lawyer is? I'm sorry, but I have no idea. Maya did say Pearl doesn't know much outside this world. So, what's that you got there, Pearl? Oh, this? I found it yesterday. <laughs> if you want it, I can give it to you. Alright, well, if you really want to give it to me. <laughs> you look like a child in a toy store, Mr. Nick. She's not speaks in a she not only speaks in a refined manner but laughs in one too. <laughs> um, Mr. Nick? Yes, Pearls, I can call you that right. You're too cute to just call Pearl. Sure, Mr. Nick, um, are you sure it's okay for me to have this Magatama? Yeah, it's okay. I was told to give it to you. But I can't accept something like this. All I really should do is charge this Magatama with spiritual energy. Spiritual energy? Yep. Please, take this. I'm sure it will be helpful. What do you mean? It will let you see people's secrets. Mm. See people's secrets. Yeah. If it's alright with you, I would like to, to accompany you for a while. I can explain the Magatama's power to you when we meet someone hiding a secret. Mm. Like her mom? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't trust her mom, nor do I trust the other girl. We're gonna find secrets. Hello again, we seem to be seeing each other a lot today. 
Oh, oh, she's like tight. Cute. Is she like your daughter? <laughs> what? No. How old do you think I am? 26 something? I don't know. <sighs> I want to ask you about the victim, Dr. Gray. I, like, totally don't know him. Ah, uh, chains. Ugh, what is that? You can see it, can't you, Mr. Nick? You can see the lock on the person's heart. Huh, what? This is the power of the Magatama. Only you can see these psych blocks, Mr. Nick. Psych blocks, huh? The more someone wants to hide their secret, the more locks you will see. If it's only one, I think you can e easily unlock it. Unlock, but how? Please use Mystic Maya's magic Magatama on this person, and let's remove the lock. <laughs> she's trying to bust something open! <laughs> Same, though. I have no idea what she's talking about, but guess I'll give it a try. You must be careful, though, Mr. Nick. If you make a mistake, it will hurt you. If you don't think you have the proof you need, you must have the courage to stop. Well, I've got to start somewhere. Let's give the psych lock thing a try. Okay. I'm gonna ask you again, did you know Mr. Gray? I totally don't know that guy. Like, you're totally more persistent than a roach. <laughs> locked. <laughs> uh, this girl's hiding something, I'm sure of it. I guess I have no choice but to remove this lock. Alright, so first I have to use Maya's Magatoma. How? Oh, do you, like... Present? Okay. <laughs> if it goes dumb. Eeny miny, I believe you do know who Dr. Gray is. I told you, like, how many times do I, like, have to repeat myself? If you're, like, so totally sure, then where's, the, like, your proof? Well, it may be possible you never actually met Dr. Gray in person. I do believe you might have at least indirectly known of him. Like, what do you mean, like, indirectly? I should try to show that possibility existed for now. Hmm, so something that shows possible connection between Amy and Dr. Gray. I don't have anything like that, though. That I know of? What about the profile? Hmm. Well... Not- I don't know if it would be his profile, or if it would be, um... Lada? Like, if they are f from the same school, would they? I don't know. But probably not. Yeah, I don't- Who else? Should I- um... Cause yeah, I don't know what, what other dr- Cause what do you have? Because we don't really have anything. God. I don't think I have enough evidence yet. I should yeah. investigate some other clues before I try again. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, so we need to find clues. But how do we find clues? <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh. Is there a clue here? Is there a raging clue in here? Hey, it's oh, a raging hey. clue. <laughs> it's me. I'm your clue. So you're going to be her lawyer, I bet. Yeah. Oh. I really feel bad for you, pal. Just this once. I wish I could be on your side. Detective Gumshoe. Yeah, but I shouldn't be saying this kind of stuff to you. Hey, you're, you're a cute kid. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. I'm not scary. Honest. <sighs> wow! I never knew Gumshoe like kids. Hey, I know. I'll show you something cool. How's this? It's a real genuine pistol. Detective <laughs> <laughs> Gumshoe, what are you doing, showing her something like that? Oh, sorry. <clears throat> <laughs> oh my god! What about Maya and the charges against her? <clears throat> I don't think you win, pal, if you're talking about proof, if you've got a few pieces. I mean, people keep saying I can't win, but I keep winning. 
I know. You've got proof? Yeah, pal. That puffy hair photographer go going to test Fatima. You must be talking about Lada, actually. Speaking of Lada... I took some hot pictures earlier. Hmm. Remember? I took some pictures at the murder scene side. Uh, uh. <laughs> Lotta's hot pictures, I wonder what her camera captured. Besides, you must have relayed by now, pal. There's no way anyone other than May Faye could have done it. Because I don't know... <laughs> what I've been told. <laughs> <laughs> About you. Just pearls now. <clears throat> Not the uh, victim wasn't super famous, but people still know who he was. His face was all over these tabloid shows last year. Yeah, I know. I was looking through some newspapers as I postulated last year. Huh. I could have sworn I had cut an article out, but I guess I must have lost it. You're searching through his pockets, and oh boy, are those big. Hmm. -mm. I got big pockets. Uh, it looks interesting. Hey, do you have a copy, pal? A copy of that article. I think Dr. Gray might have bought, brought a copy to the office when he came by. Oh, so you gotta go back to the office. Yeah. About my trial tomorrow. I got two pieces of news for you, pal. Two? Yeah, bad news and even worse okay. news. So which do you want to hear first? I don't really care. Doesn't change the fact that I'm not gonna like it. All right, pal. Well, prosecutes for the trial is prosecute Van Karma. Uh, Von Karma. He's Van now. Oh shit. What, Von Karma? I'm concerned. Manfred Von Karma. He was an awe-inspiring veteran prosecutor. He never lost a case in the 40 years of his career, and he raised a fearsome dis disciple. The horrible aftertaste of evil he force-fed me is something I'll never forget. Wait a sec. But didn't Von Karma stand trial and- That's where the other piece of bad news comes in. The Von Karma in your face in tomorrow is actually his successor. Successor. Yeah, okay. Yeah, what? <laughs> so, um, who is the successor to Von Karma? Literally, pal, it's Prosecutor Von and Karma's kid. Of course he has a kid. His kid became a prosecutor really young, like 13, and has lost trial since. <laughs> oh no! That's why they call him a prodigy, pal. Um, hmm, kid, huh? Wait a second. 13? 13, 13, the kid became a prosecutor at the age of 13. I mean, prodigy like that, I would have heard something <sighs> about. Oh, no, no, no. The kid was born and raised in Germany. You pal, of course. That country got a lot of stuff. It is a great place to develop a person's talents. Germany, huh? That's probably why I've never heard of this person. Huh, still, it all makes... Takes is someone mentioning the name one from I'm afraid. I get terrible flashbacks of that case. Same. Uh, hi. Hello. Oh, hey. <laughs> He's angry. Stop it. Get a grip on yourself, Phoenix. None of that matters anymore, now that he's gone. Back to my, um, house. Village. I don't want to investigate. <laughs> to the law offices. The law offices. The law offices. Feels like I've been gone forever. But it's only been one day, and now I have a kid with me. Oh, that's right. Yes. Where's the newspaper Dr. Gray brought the other day? Is that I it? Know. Oh. Ah, <laughs> uh, here it is, right on top of my desk. This is the only thing that he left behind that's going to be of any help. Newspaper clipping one. Uh. Ugh. <clears throat> Maya must be in another round of questioning. I hope the detectives. <laughs> the ta 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 detectives <laughs> are taking it easy on her. <laughs> <laughs> but these kinds of cases aren't usually taken lightly either. I guess I'll come back later. Okay. Um. Oh, maybe I should look at it. Mm-hmm. 
one year ago on May 2nd, 14 patients died from a malpractice. Is... Okay. Oh, did he want it? Uh... Um, Dr. Gray brought this over to my office the other day, and... Hey, hey, it's that news story. The one about the, uh, malpractice suit. Yeah. 14 patients died, and it caused a huge stink. Yeah. <laughs> That's not all. How things only got worse from after that. You mean the car accident the nurse died in? Hmm, here we go. <laughs> here we go again. I brought my own clip in with my today. Here, pal, this is for you. Alright, thanks. <sighs> Mimi oh, yep. Miney. Nurse at Gray Surgical died after falling asleep at the wheel. So... That's her sister. Okay, yeah. Uh... So... Yeah, uh... So we have the proof. Oh, all right. I have to use the Megatoma. <laughs> Forgot. <laughs> okay. Yep. Take a look <clears throat> at this newspaper clipping. Like, what is it? A story about an accident? Please read the victim's name. Um. Sorry. Mimi. Yeah, Mimi. Mi <sighs> Mimi. Min is it Mini? Yeah. Mimi Miney. <laughs> Mi Miney, God. Mimi Miney. Jesus. Miney is a names. pretty weird last name, wouldn't you say? Miss Mimi Miney wouldn't happen to be a relative of yours, would she? So you notice, she she was my older sister. Sorry about your loss. Your sister, she was a nurse, perhaps, at Dr. Gray's surgical clinic. <laughs> Gray's surgical clinic. I don't think I need to tell you that the clinic was run by the victim, Dr. Turner Gray. Which is how you knew of Dr. Gray. You knew him through your sister. Yep. Now I'm freaking out. Like, oh my god. Unlock successful. <laughs> Please tell me all you know about Dr. Gray. My sister name was a <laughs> mighty Jesus. She was like a nurse at Dr. Gray's clinic. That's what I thought. I heard that, like, Dr. Gray was really tough on people, like, that's a cat. Total slave driver. Driver. <laughs> My sis was, like, always coming home, totally wiped, out of case she was overworked. Wiped out. So, is that why she fell asleep at the wheel? That guy, like, drove my sis so hard, so, like, that's why the accident happened. The one where 14 patients died from malpractice. Yeah, like, I think that was the doctor's fault, too. My sis was pushed by, like, everyone's expectations and, like, her duties and stuff. And that pushed her to her death. Oh, I'm sorry. So, like, are we done? I've, like, already told my story to, like, everyone. Do you understand now, Mr. Nick? This is how a cyclop works. Well, I don't plan to pry into people's hearts unless I absolutely need to. It's, the lock this time was pretty easy, but you might meet people who aren't as willing to give in later on. If you don't have enough proof, be careful and know when to stop trying. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Let's go check on Maya. Let's also save. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Don't touch that dial. Mm-hmm. 
Mr. Nick. Hmm? What's wrong? I have never left Korean Village. You re literally went to my office with me, probably. <laughs> really? Wow, that's um pretty amazing. You're going to meet up with Mr. Maya, aren't you? Please tell her I said hi. Okay. Hey, goodbye. Wait. She ran off again. Well, I know Eni's secret now, but I still don't have any idea how I'm going to save Maya. I don't even know if I should go in there with a smile or a straight face. Both. Smile, straight face. Yes. Straight face, smile. It's the twentieth. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? I'm almost out of time. Can I really do anything? Can I really save her? Oh, sorry to keep you waiting. Huh? Must be Maya. <sighs> it's been a long time, hasn't it, Phoenix? Huh? That voice. Is it? Oh. Her si yeah, her sister. You can be her again. <laughs> You're them both now. Mia. Yes. Even without me being here, it looks like you've learned to stand on your own. Hi. Hi. Hello. Boobs. Mia, she's Maya's older sister and my mentor. And then she yeah. cracked a sexy pose when she died. I <laughs> She, yes, sexiness. She, she was a top-notch defense lawyer, but a certain case forced her into retirement. But whenever I'm in trouble, she comes to help, just like this. Her spiritual... Her spirit comes back from other world and borrows Maya's body for a bit. Also, the aunt never spoke about her, so it's kind of fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> Phoenix, you can't take... You can't make that kind of face in front of your client. Huh? <laughs> Alori is someone who smiles no matter how bad it gets, and especially when it's bad. Yeah. <laughs> you can't smile and then if you haven't been smiling the whole way there. In any case, the face you're making now is no face to show a client at Phoenix. But... So, tell me all about it. I'm going to guess that my sister is in a lot of trouble again. No oh, shit. <laughs> I told her everything about what happened in the two last few days. Mia closed her eyes, deep in thought, while she listened. I see. Mia, what am I supposed to do? It's pretty clear what a good lawyer does in this situation. And that is, tell me, please. Believe in your convictions. And fight for the complete... Equitable of your planet. Fight cool. for your right to party. Um, yes. <laughs> Think Maya's not guilty? How can you be so sure? I know she is. And I'll give you a hint as to why. I know you I know she is, but what are you? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mediums can't have dreams. They can't. From what you told me, it sounds like Maya was having a dream while challenging challenges. Yeah, she said she dreamt that she had died and had been buried in the ground. But that is impossible. You've heard it from me, her. I'm sure when a medium challenges her own spirit disappears. Which means that it's impossible for her to dream during that time. Then, what does that mean? <clears throat> I think it's safe to bet that Maya was set up. Yup. A set up. It's up to you to blow the lid of this case tomorrow and show how she was set up. Like, get snappy. How am I supposed to prove her innocence when I have nothing to go on? Uh, if you're looking for a clue, a major clue, it's actually in your hands. I have hands? <laughs> Jesus, just as it sounds. Yeah, the key. Phoenix, you already hold the key. Wink, really? wink. Come on, show me the key in this case. <laughs> I have a keyblade. The keyblade, huh? <laughs> I'll show it to her the keyblade I hold. <laughs> major in major keyblade in your pants. Mm. Mia, have you seen this key before? Uh the key. It's literally the key to understanding everything that's happened in this case. This key. Phoenix, listen, right now, that key is sitting in your hand. However, if it it shouldn't be, it con con contradicts the facts. What does that mean? I'm certain this key will be the piece of evidence that makes your case tomorrow. 
You already know everything you need to know. You know what the key to this case is. The key. That is enough. But, Mia out. But <laughs> how can I win tomorrow without knowing who the real murderer is? Who could have? Didn't know it at the time. But this day was going to end with a turn for the surprising. Oh. <laughs> okay. Oh, shit. Yeah, you gotta oh, have God. more, um... Mia, what? What's wrong? That's right. Only <laughs> I can see the Cyclops. I'm a psychic. Which means, Mia must know something about the real murderer. But for this to be something that she would hide under lock and key for me... What in the world is going on? Smack that table. It's been naughty. To be continued.